questions. Curious kids send me questions, and I investigate. I was just waiting for the mail. Oh. <laughs> Jumping jellies, we got a letter. Let's read it together. Dear Wobie, how do elephants communicate? From Zach, age 10. What a wild question! And I know just who can help us find out. Thanks for offering to help, Susie. Anytime, Wobie. After all, I speak fluent elephant. Uh-oh. What is it, Susie? Nora looks pretty annoyed. Oh, she does? But we haven't even said hi to her yet. How can you tell? Elephants don't just communicate with sounds. They also use actions, smells, and touch. When they flap their ears, like Nora is doing now, it can mean they're a bit cranky. Ugh, Susie is right. I am cranky. Someone's been stealing lunches and the thief just struck again. My lunch is missing. <laughs> I might be able to help with that. Oh! Huh? She said thank you. She feels much better now. You understood that? Nope. But her tail's wagging gently. That's how an elephant tells us they're happy and relaxed. That's right. We elephants use all kinds of sounds and signals to communicate. An elephant's call is so deep and powerful. It can rumble through the ground to other elephants. The sound travels through the ground to our feet and up to our ears. It's a great way to send warnings. Trumpeting is sort of like yelling for humans. We trumpet when we're excited, sensing danger, or warning a predator not to mess with us. We can also adopt a powerful, dominant stance that tells predators it's time to back away. Oh, I never knew elephants could say so many things without speaking. Oh, it comes in handy. Oh, I'm getting a rumble now. It seems Rara has caught the lunch thief. Time to go and back her up. Whoa! I sure wouldn't want to mess with you. Thanks for your wild question. I got to learn so much. See you next time for another great fact-finding adventure. Woohoo!